Hi, everybody. Uh, I wanted to show just um, how to start formatting to prepare to rotoscope. This isn't the rotoscoping process, but how to make rotoscoping efficient and manageable um, so that we aren't wasting our time. So uh, the, the biggest and most important thing, if we're doing it in Photoshop, we want to make sure that we are changing our video footage from 29.97 frames a second to 10 frames a second. So I'm going to scrub through right here. And we can see in these first 10 frames, I only get this far. But in my 10 frames a second that I have here, I get much further. So I've uh, changed my frame rate. And we're here in the 29.97 frames. And if we come down to the little hamburger menu, say in uh, set timeline frame rate, this is the first thing you want to adjust, change it to 10 frames a second. So now this matches this other file I have right here. So here's an example of rotoscoping where we trace the actual like, contour of the hand, tracing the perimeter. This is an example of rotoscoping in an alternative method where maybe we're just capturing more of the movement rather than the actual uh, shape itself. So I also want to show how to format to start rotoscoping in Procreate, um, because maybe some of you don't have access to being able to draw on a screen and uh, work in Photoshop. And I know that actually drawing on the screen as opposed to an actual tablet is can sometimes be a lot easier. So Procreate can be useful in that way. Procreate does have limitations, of course, with number of layers and things that you can use when animating. So this is the way that I rotoscope in Procreate. First, I want to format my video so that I'm, again, working efficiently. So I'm going to, uh, in After Effects, bring in my original source video, say, New Composition, 1920 by 1080. And um, I'm going to work at 10 frames a second. And this is to format so that I change my vertical uh, video that I have into an, a, a more horizontal aspect ratio that is the aspect ratio that I oftentimes work with uh, more regularly. So I bring in my video and I can change the scale. And I'm also going to trim my comp. I right click, trim comp to work area. And so this will be the, the footage that I want. I can say composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. It pops up here. And I'm going to uh, put this on the desktop and call this um, hand roto. And I'll hit play. So the next step is to bring the MP4 into Photoshop, breaking it down frame by frame so that we can take that into Procreate and access each individual frame in Procreate. So what I'll do is I'll go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. On my desktop, I'll access Hand Roto Example, and I'll say Open. I'm going to say from beginning to end, do, do not say make frame animation, turn off make frame animation. So I'm going to hit OK. Because I was working at 10 frames a second and it's five seconds, uh, we have about 50 frames that we would have to draw in order to rotoscope this whole thing. So now I need to save this on my uh, cloud. I'm going to save it in my Adobe Cloud or Creative Cloud. And I'll say hand roto example. Save. 
So now on my iPad, I'm going to open Procreate. I'm going to go to Import. And it opened directly into my Creative Cloud. If it didn't open into wherever you saved your file, you can go to Browse. And you can choose whatever you're using. If you saved it in Drive or iCloud, I'm going to double click on my file and we'll import into uh, Procreate. So I can open my layers. Here's all my 50 layers. Now uh, it comes just sort of a tedious process of going through and turning off your top layers. And wherever you want to start rotoscoping, I'm going to come here, add a layer on top, and I can start tracing the outline of my hand if that's the method that I want to use. And then I'll turn on my next layer, make a new layer. When I want to actually view my animation, I can come up to my canvas. I can say animation assist. And we see down here the um, the layers that I have turned on. So if I want to only see my animation, I'll have to continue to turn off layers and I'll have to turn off my layers in between my new frames. So that's the beginning of my animation. I can come to settings. I can change this to 10 frames a second, which is what we'll play it back at. And so I'm just going to continue to keep rotoscoping, turning on a layer, adding a new layer. While I'm rotoscoping, I often I turn off the animation assist. And then eventually I will uh, share my work in, uh, usually I'll do it as a PSD, and then I'll take it back into After Effects and sequence the layers at 10 frames a second to give me some flexibility. Of course, you can just um, share as an animated MP4 as well. Um, but we are interested in compositing, and so we want to take this back into After Effects and sequence it that way. And that that is uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I go about the rotoscoping process in um, Procreate, and I hope that's helpful. Oops. <laughs>